Hey, it's Victoria from Coastal Themes. In part one of Figma to Framer, we went over preparing your files from Figma and importing them into Framer and dealing with a few of the issues that appeared. In this video, I'm going to go over four different issues you may come across and limitations when importing from Figma to Framer. The first one is styles. This is any styles, any variables that you have in Figma will not be imported into Framer. Meaning that in Framer, you have to recreate all your styles from scratch using the styles panel over here. And then you have to relink all your styles to every element on your Framer design. This can be quite time consuming, so it's good to bear this in mind when you're importing over. The next issue you may come across is components. Components are also not imported from Figma to Framer, meaning that any navigation, any footers, any cards, buttons, modules, you need to recreate as components in Framer in the assets panel here. This can also be quite time consuming, but less so because all your elements will be imported over from Figma. The next issue you may come across is fonts. If we click on this block here, you can see that it's giving me an error for my font. This is because this font is not in our standard web fonts, which are on Framer. We'll have to go to this custom panel and upload the font files manually. The font, however, which is linked and is on your computer will show as preview. It will also show when you click preview up here. But when you go to the web and publish your site, you can see that it just defaults to regular sans serif text. Finally, we have drop shadows and gradients. In part one, you saw that we had a custom gradient on this customer success element here. I had to change this to a solid block of color because the gradient which was inline in this text did not import from Figma to Framer. So just be careful when you're importing gradients and where they are placed in your layouts as it may not import over. And finally, we have drop shadows. Drop shadows have been known not to import from Figma to Framer, but sometimes they do and sometimes they don't depending on the asset you are working with. If you're working within a frame, you will see the full frame fill with a gray background when the shadow doesn't apply. However, it's just good to bear in mind in case you see this happen, you know what to do to fix it, is just to either import the image by yourself into Framer directly or to simply remove the drop shadow from Figma before importing that over. And there you have it. Those are all the potential issues you may come across from Figma to Framer. If there's anything else I've left out or anything you'd like me to address, feel free to leave a comment below. See you soon.